Welcome back, everybody. So we've already told you today is National Wear Red Day, so we're going to continue this conversation to help you get a healthier heart, especially for women on today. But this affects men, women. It is the number one killer of all people, heart disease. So joining us here to talk more about a new study that looks into the foods that we eat and how they affect our heart, Dr. Raghu Murthy, a cardiologist with Ascension St. Vincent. So thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. So I have been preaching this for a long time. I know y'all are sick of it and you're probably shaking your head like, here she goes again. The Mediterranean diet is always king when it comes to your heart and so many other illnesses in our bodies. A absolutely. And so, you know, the Mediterranean diet was looked at in a very large style, uh, large study done out of Europe. And what they ended up doing is they looked at patients who had had prior heart attacks in the past and they put them on a diet that mainly consisted of vegetables, fish, poultry, they limited red meat down to two times a month. They supplemented one group with nuts and they supplemented another group with one liter of olive oil per week. And they compared that to a low fat diet and they found a 33% reduction in cardiac event rates in those two Mediterranean diet groups. So that's the extreme almost because then you have folks who are doing these all protein and all meat right. diets. I mean, I have a friend who lost like 30 pounds doing this, but right. he eats bacon every day. Right. So, I mean, you know, this came along with the rise of Atkins, and then the most recent name of it is paleo. Keto, keto right? Right, keto, keto yeah. diet, absolutely. And so this was a study, the study that recently came out that we're talking about was a study that was done in mice that looked at the effect of these diets. And what they effectively did is they actually took a mice model where there was a fat diet, um, uh, with comparing that to a fat plus protein diet. Okay. Um, and what they ended up finding is that the plaque was increased in the fat plus protein diet um, compared to the fat diet. And they ended up finding what was worse plaques that are more likely to rupture. And so when those plaques rupture in the heart, those are the plaques that are dangerous and they can cause heart attacks. Now, and when you say protein, meat protein. Meat protein, okay. so right, Because exactly. we get protein lots of different ways. Right. Um, but so the thing is you have to consider like while you may wanna lose weight, which ultimately does make you healthier, you want to make sure right. you're doing it in a safe way. How can people kind of modify these diets that sure. are in their face? So what, what I would say is I think that there's some data on intermittent fasting. Um, if you really want to lose weight, try and concentrate on eating all of your meals within about eight hours. Yeah. If you're able to do that, that certainly is a good, healthier way, I would say, of losing weight. With these high-protein diets, sure, you might end up losing weight. But, you know, the scary part about it is these mice who were on the protein diet lost weight. Right or maintain their weight at a very low, low, low level, but at the same time developed advanced coronary artery disease. Wow. And you know, and I think it's interesting because some people do these diets for reasons to get their blood pressure down, and that can happen too. So there's almost this appearance that I'm thinner, my blood pressure's down, my cholesterol may be down, I'm healthier, right. but then these things that we don't see are happening inside of our bodies. Right, and, and there's, they actually were able to find a protein as to why this occurred, there was a protein that actually increases called mTOR that occurs when patients end up ingesting all these amino acids, and that mTOR results in one of the important cells that actually stabilize plaque from not working appropriately. So there was actually a molecular basis behind, behind why this was occurring. All right, so it's true. <laughs> Believe us, I know you're sick of hearing it. Um, intermittent fasting, and I'd love to talk more about that in the future, but it really sure. is effective, I think, for a lot of people. And what I notice is a lot of doctors do it. Right. And if y'all are doing it, it's probably the right thing to do. <laughs> well, we don't do everything right, but know, we but try. <laughs> you always look pretty good. All right, Dr. Murthy, thank you so much for coming in, and we'll be back after the break.